Let's just think about this for a second, okay? Hashtags are used across all social media. Well, not really. They are used across other social media, but they are not important across all social media. They are only really important on Instagram. You know, the thing is we obsess over hashtags on Instagram. We have to have 30 in there, you know, you have to find the best ones. You have to have a good hashtag strategy. You can't reuse them, all these sorts of things. There are millions of websites, there are businesses based around giving you the right hashtags. Now, earlier this week, uh, Adam Maziri, the head of Instagram, dropped a reel which talked about how Instagram is going to change. Now, most of the focus of this, in my community at least, was photographers talking about how Instagram is going to push photography to the back and bring video to the front. And, you know, that's important. But there was one thing that was kind of missed in all of this, and that is that Instagram is changing the way that you see content. Now, there's a tiny little clip in there, and I think that this, you know, is a clue to something much bigger. Listen to this. So what you're going to see over the next couple of months really is us start to experiment more in the space of what we call recommendations. So showing you things in feed that you may not be following yet. So in this reel, it's about three minutes long. He talks about all sorts of things about Instagram and how it's changing. But there's a short sentence in there where he talks about something that they're going to be testing over the next few months. And that is called recommendations. Now, I think recommendations is an interesting one because Instagram is terrible at recommendations. You only have to spend a few minutes on your explore page to know that Instagram really does not know what content you want to consume. It might know what you click on and have a quick browse of, but it doesn't know what you really want to see. Now, again, in this same reel, he talks about Instagram's competitors. You don't often hear about this, but he talked about TikTok and even bigger YouTube. Now there is something that TikTok and YouTube have in common and it is recommendations. When you upload content, what it's trying to do is they're trying to look at what that content is, figure out who it's for, and then they're going to match it to an audience who they already know the kind of thing that they want to watch. That's how recommendation systems work. Instagram is way behind. And this is why we use hashtags. We use hashtags to kind of bypass a recommendation system. We're essentially saying when we put hashtags into our content, we're saying, listen, Instagram, you don't know who wants to see this. I'm going to tell you who wants to see this content. Now, the thing is, is that that's not always correct. And there's with Instagram, there's two things happening at the same time. There's your hashtags. But then also Instagram is stepping in and saying, oh, hold on a minute. No, you, th this isn't correct. You, you haven't got the right hashtag for this. So I'm not going to show it in that hashtag. So in short, hashtags are a pretty blunt tool compared to TikTok and YouTube's recommendation system. So let's really quickly look at hashtags on other social media, okay? TikTok, you can use hashtags, but it's not as powerful as their recommendation system. YouTube, you can use hashtags, but quick fact, my channel is growing pretty well and I have never used a hashtag once. I don't even know why I would. I'm sure that there are loads of strategies out there for doing it, but I'm just not going to use hashtags. Simple as that. I don't need to. Twitter, hashtags used to be really important on Twitter, but right now, you know, you can or you can't. It doesn't matter. You can still get your content out there without using hashtags. It's not important anymore. So what's happening with Instagram? Instagram is going to switch to a recommendation system. I'm going to speculate and say that this means that hashtags are going to become less important and maybe obsolete. This also means that the potential of going viral is much higher because that's how recommendations work. If you are constantly posting and posting to hashtags, that's it. That's the end of the story. Whereas like, let's take YouTube or TikTok, you can just be posting and all of a sudden the recommendation system goes, hey, this is getting a lot of activity. Push it out to recommendations. And on YouTube and on TikTok, this is the way that people go viral. And this is how people's accounts explode. This happened to me on this channel. And really interesting, Reels obviously works in the same way. This is why people are getting loads of views on Reels and not on their feed posts, is because Reels has a recommendation system in a way. When you swipe through Reels, you're seeing stuff that you don't follow. And this kind of happens on the Explore page, but again, no one really looks at that. On your feed posts, that doesn't happen. So if Instagram are going to start showing content on your feed, that you don't follow, that means if you're creating content, there is the potential of your content blowing up. That's what it means in short. So are hashtags dead? Is this the end of hashtags? Like, we don't know, we don't know this, but if Instagram are going to be adding this recommendation system, just like TikTok, just like YouTube, we can assume that hashtags will become just as important as they are on those platforms, which is pretty unimportant. So if hashtags aren't important anymore, what is important? Probably staying within your niche, creating good content, creating content that gets good engagement. These things are all still important. And this is a good thing, you know. 
I get tired of posting to Instagram because I don't wanna find 30 relevant hashtags that I haven't used in my last post. This is tiring stuff and this is not creative stuff. This is admin and I hate it. So, you know, I welcome this. If, if there's a potential of good content, regardless of who it's coming from, it's gonna blow up and end up on loads of people's feed and then that person gets loads of new followers, those sorts of things. I'm, I welcome that and I'm quite happy for Instagram to put content on my feed that I don't follow because I know how good it is on other platforms and I think that the people at Instagram will probably replicate a system just as good as things like TikTok and things like YouTube. So I see this as a positive change. Again, this is a speculative video. None of what I've said is confirmed by Instagram. This is me speculating on what they've said, but they have said that they will be testing a new recommendation system over the next couple of months, maybe the next few weeks. If you look at the other platforms, Instagram is outdated and it is not working in the way that the others are. And I don't think that Instagram's plan is to try and replicate TikTok or replicate YouTube. What they're gonna do is replicate the way that those platforms deliver you content. And when they say that I'm gonna do a video on you know, them putting photography to the back, trust me, it's gonna be a positive video because I, I genuinely think this is gonna be a positive change for the platform. And you know, maybe photographers out there are worried about it or already feeling negative or already feeling like leaving Instagram. Let's just hear them out on this. They're clever people. They've created a wonderful platform that's kind of brought us all together. So I think we owe it to them to say, hey, let's have a look at this first before we start saying how bad it's gonna be. Uh, I'll do a proper video on it, okay? But that's what I think. So let me know what you think of this and answer this question in the comments, okay? Do you think not having to stress out about hashtags when you post every time would be a good thing. Would you welcome just being able to post content and if it does well, it gets pushed to more and more people. I'll leave it to you. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. I'm Johnny Keeley, and if you're one of my subscribers, I will see you in the next video.